Hello my soccer universe. Well, you saw it in the opening montage had a nice birthday today. Unfortunately, no sound in the video, but you know, so I made a montage, put some music under. At least that's what I'm planning to do, because as I'm shooting this, I have not decided it how I do. So this is a surprise uh, for me, but you have already seen it, of course. Yeah, as I said, I had a beautiful birthday and fortunately there is also now a vacation for the girls. So I took also the week off, have a late October, early November vacation, which is really, 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 really nice. As you saw, there's another shirt uh, in the montage. There was another shirt coming, which we will, of course, now look at it a little bit closer because I think it's a really, really great shirt with a little bit of a backstory behind it. The moment Barcelona is even losing to Rayo Vallecano, but I'm not gonna watch a lot tonight because I honestly we want to do a little trip tomorrow. So you got take a break from all the soccer action <laughs> in many many ways in any case as i said i had a wonderful birthday uh and yeah uh it also the birthday turned out to be a really surprise that's the uh, these are a couple of shirts that i thought are sold out even yesterday suddenly were available again for very 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 cheap so there will be another unpacking video from me because you know i got some cash for my birthday as well from other sources so always happy about it so i would say enough of me talking let's look at the shirt uh you've seen it maybe in the montage already this is this year's peru copa america jersey which was released just with a few couple of weeks i think or a few days before the copa america started and it is a rather spectacular design. I mean, you know, uh, you may know that I already have a Peru shirt that I bought at the airport in Lima in 2009 uh, for rather cheap, which, uh, you know, I like it. It is a little bit quirky and it was made by Valon, which I think is a Peruvian sports brand. These are made by Marathon. But the spectacular stuff here is that there is this rainbow pattern uh, on the sash which goes of course back to the Incas, which to me, uh, <laughs> you get me every time with that. Uh, and then you have the rainbow pattern also on the sleeves uh, on both sides. And then you have a little bit of that also here on the back where uh, they have the Peru kind of woven in lots of rainbow colors. I read that the pattern on this uh, you know this rainbow pattern on the sash is uh definitely by um inspired by inca uh, clothing i guess however to me you know there's this rainbow mountain in peru if you don't know look it up may 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 i will put a picture uh in the video which is just uh crazy now uh, i have to say uh this is a very well made shirt. I got it in double XL. Um, I really, really like the way it looks. The, of course, uh, the sash is sewn on, meaning this is a replica version, although it does have some ventilation holes here on the side, which I find rather interesting. However, the story bit of me getting this one is a rather lengthy one um, because already in August I said I need to do every, everything to get this particular shirt. However, I knew that this is not going to fit in my budget and so we very early on decided between me and my wife uh, that if I manage to get this one, this will be kind of left as a birthday present. So uh, very happy about that, to be honest. Uh, what can I tell you? Um, so I saw this shirt and of course when I looked for it, it was available uh, in none of the stores. I mean, is there a marathon store in Europe? I didn't find one. So uh, I went to the marathon store. It was of course only in Peru available with shipping only to Peru, which anyway would have cost a whole lot. Now, uh, that kind of was a troll. I mean, the shirt itself was not that expensive, but I knew that with shipping and so on, it will probably come out to a normal, um, you know, a normal um, shirt price in many ways. So, couldn't get it myself. Um, next option. Um, I know my brother is married to a Peruvian. Let's ask them. 
And my brother said, yeah, we try, we, we, we try as well, but you need kind of this Peruvian ID card. And then they, as I said, they don't ship uh, to where he is living, um, but he can contact the family of my sister-in-law. And then he got, now nah, maybe it's better I contact a friend because he has a little bit more idea of sports jerseys. And they contacted them, they sent him some money. Uh, he, my, my brother is living in Switzerland, so I, he sent some money from Switzerland to Peru. I sent some money uh, from here to Switzerland. Uh, all the, and, and thankfully my brother has also an account there in Euro, so uh, the transfer fee didn't cost me anything. And yeah, let's say, let's do it. And the guy who actually used to work in my company, and I'm very thankful that he got this jersey for me, and he sent it to me uh, here. The only problem was, uh, the little mess up was that he didn't tick the gift box, so I had to pay some import fees, which, uh, yeah, so be it. I think overall the shirt came out to be 90 euros, and then I said, okay, I have it. I gave it to my wife and said, you know, we have agreed that this is my birthday present. Let's keep this for my birthday because I, I can wait for it. Although I know this is a shirt that I always, always wanted. I wanted to have for the longest time a um, normal looking Peru jersey, meaning one where, um, how to say, where the uh, where, 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 where there's only a white with a sash. And now with this additional pattern, it really, really lo looks nice. Although the, the first one by released by Marathon was also really nice. Uh, I like the color better on the first one by Mary Marathon. This one is a bit weird with the buttons that don't do anything. Uh, there's a lot of glare, of course, from the camera. So, but here are two buttons that don't button onto anything. That's maybe the only weird part. But other than that, you cannot go wrong. I mean, Peru is one of is always one of the best looking uh, shirts out there, and I have to say that uh, the World Cup Coca Cola jerseys were probably the worst Peru jerseys in a long time and then if you have this rainbow pattern cannot get better than this uh the crest here is kind of a plastic material with a little bit of a plastic feel to it as well which i really like i wish maybe i mean yes it's the peru flag i mean it's not bad but sometimes i wish that they had something a little bit more exciting like a like a little condor on top or you know something inca related uh, I really have to, have to say what I like is that this material here is good, but the sleeves have this kind of uh, riffled mat material. It's very, 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 very strong. So that's pretty nice as well. So I think very good quality by Mar Mar Marathon. I also have already re it was good that I already in double XL because otherwise it would have been uh, way too tight. Uh, nice tags coming with it as well. So yeah, all the way from South America for a birthday pre uh, present. When I or ordered it, I thought, yeah, I'll be the only, only one in Europe to have ha of having this. Now, I, I know other people who have this shirt, but it, it's still very, very special. I don't think, at least here in Austria, not many people will have exactly this shirt. I see already the technology is called Hydrotech uh, written down here. So in any case, let me know what you think about this shirt. Again, I really did have a uh, great birthday it was a different birthday but i actually liked it all that much and yeah when you when this is posting it's still my birthday but uh while i'm shooting but when the video is posted it will be over and i'll be probably somewhere in the mountains having fun in any case give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel and we'll see more and i will talk to you soon bye i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.